Oh, it's a good day. Lovely E46 M3. This is Ash's car. Absolutely stunning. It is in for a big brake upgrade. We've got the AP calipers, motor fluid. Um, these are the BTCC discs and pads and big old AP calipers and brake cooling ducts to go on the back. So let's do a little bit of a brake upgrade. So the old setup was um, Paget RS29 pads. Obviously we can see the KW K, uh, V3s. Oof. Um, so we are gonna upgrade the brakes. So first off, you remove the two little grub screws to hold the disc. I like to push the pads back. And then uh, I think they're 15s or 16s on the back. I've removed the brake pad sensor wire, just chilling down here. Uh, we're gonna have to loop that up out of the way because obviously one, we don't want a lot on the dash and two, the new pads don't have a hole for the brake pad sensor, which you'll see because they're mahoosive. So the two 16s, obviously I'm letting the caliper chill there because we're replacing the line anyway. And then just give the disc a little bit of a whacker whacker and it's off. Now to get the dust shield off, Correctly, got to take the wheel hub, wheel bearing off. So pop that out, and it is a mahoosive socket, which I'll grab. Like I said, the front wheel bearing nut is massive. Now, for some reason, this is a 113 16th. Uh, I don't actually know what that translates to. Very big is the answer. No, and then it's three 10 mils for the heat shield. I need to get it around that. Mainly held on by rust, so we're going to use a little lever, brake all the rust out, and get this out. So that's the brake cooler duct. It is going to just slide into there, and then we can, at least, see a nice reflection of me. Then attach a pipe round to there, through there. So that's on, marked up. It's just a tube for the extension at the back, and then just a couple of Allen keys. We're all marked in and good. Um, gonna refit wheel bearing, get the disc on, ready to go before we put the caliper on. Okay, wheel bearing is on, I uh, need to put the cover on, notched it in, and the big disc is on. Now, size difference, people. <laughs> size difference. It's huge, I think. I'm not sure what the measurement is, I'm not gonna try and make a guess and be wrong, I'll speak to the owner. But yeah, now we've got to fit caliper bracket, uh, remove the old brake caliper, which is still on there. Hope that that comes off. Uh, and, we're, and then we've got to do side two. <laughs> um, I've just moved the pins out of the way, I need to flip them over. Uh, it's only in on one bolt, but I've got a locked item, so I'm gonna put the bottom one in, locked tight, then the top one in. Locked tight, and in she goes. And of course, I think the, the person who sold the kit said 75. Newton meters on the bolts, on the bolts that go in, which are already paint marked and talked up, and the top caliper bolts. I must say, I like this kit because you don't need to shim the calipers. Um, unlike other AP kits I've fitted, you get a load of shim washers to, to build it up. If I'm honest, it was a bit of a pain, but this, this is just lovely. So we're all connected with the banjo all the way around. And we're connecting the hard line, so we're about to uh, we're gonna go to the other side and um, fit the oh mint. All right, so I pulled some fluid through just to get fluid into the caliper with the laser tool. I am really loving this. I'll try and put a link in my um, in my bio toward to these on Amazon because they are game changers. And she is all back together. Let's just admire that. So the ATS Motorsport wheels with some sensational Dunlop Derezas. Look at that filthy tread pattern there, people. Oh, beautiful. So, Blake breaks old bled. Uh, just gotta give it a little road test. Perks of the job, unfortunately. Uh, just make sure I'm happy with the brakes. May need to give them another little bleed, I don't know. We'll see what it's like on the floor. The pedal was good. Uh, with these, it always helps to bleed the brakes with the ignition on, but... Oh, I love this. I love this M3. Okay, it's time for a road test. My God, the brakes are powerful. Obviously, you still need bedding in, and they've got some serious bite to it. I can't show you what it's like because I need two hands on the steering wheel when slamming the brakes on because it's kind of pulled my face off. So this one, done.